Top 5 Facts About Coronavirus Number 5. In comparison with adults, kids aren't affected by a coronavirus. According to COVID-19 cases in America, only 1.7% have been in children, and between 0.58% to 2.0% have been children who got critically ill from it with just three child deaths happening so far. Why is that? This is still a hot topic in the science community, with many different theories being put forward. Some believe that the young receptors within children's bodies or lungs are interfering with the virus's ability to attach itself. Though during the big SARS and MERS epidemics of 2002, no children were counted for in the death toll either. Scientists are keen to identify why the virus works this way as finding out why children seem to be immune could hold the key to finding the cure. Number 4. MERS and SARS From the seven coronavirus strands that have transferred to humans, the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome MERS and the Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome have been two of the deadliest. These two viruses caused the deaths of over 1,500 people between them since 2002. Number 3. Coronavirus originally came from bats. Coronaviruses are a family of viruses that cause diseases in animals. Of all the different types of coronavirus present in the animal kingdom, only seven have made the jump to infecting humans with this latest one, the COVID-19 strain, being the seventh on that list. The COVID-19 strain of coronavirus was recognized by matching its genetic code to the same one found in bats. Now, this global pandemic is thought to have started in Wuhan's wet market, a market selling both live and dead animals. However, bats were not sold at the Wuhan wet market in question, and thus it has been theorized that bats had infected live chickens or other animals sold at the market. Number 2. Pandemic Stage On the 11th of March 2020, the World Health Organization confirmed that the spread of COVID-19 was now at a pandemic stage. WHO Chief Dr. Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus that despite labeling the virus as a pandemic, their advice remains the same to countries trying to fight it. He said that governments have to strike a fine balance between protecting health, minimizing disruption and respecting human rights, but also that to do the right things with calm and protect the citizens of the world is doable. Number one, the virus is not airborne. The official advice states that the virus can only be spread via close contact, for example, Spending 15 minutes or more within 13 foot of somebody who is COVID positive. The greatest way to protect yourself from the spread of COVID-19 is to ensure catch your sneezes and coughs in tissues that you immediately dispose of, as well as regularly washing your hands to combat the chances of the virus remaining on surfaces you may touch. Remember to stay calm and alert, and if you feel like you may have contracted the virus, then contact your National Health Service via phone and seek their advice on self-isolation and treatment.